The real problem of humanity is that we have paleolithic emotions, medieval institutions, and godlike technology. We we're all looking out for the moment when technology would overwhelm human strengths and intelligence. When is it going to cross the singularity, replace our jobs, be smarter than humans? This is the thing everyone's talking about. But there's this much earlier moment when technology actually overwhelms human weaknesses. This point being crossed is at the root of bots, addiction, information overload, polarization, radicalization, outrageification, vanityification, the entire thing, which is leading to human downgrading. Downgrading our attention spans, our relationships, civility, community, habits. Downgrading humans. 70% of YouTube's traffic is driven by what the algorithm is recommending. People think, oh, that's not true. Like, I'm the one choosing my way through YouTube. Let me debase that. The simplest example is you're sitting there, you're about to hit play in a YouTube video. And you're like, I know there's other times I get sucked in, but this time is going to be different. And then, of course, you hit play, and two hours later, you wake up from a trance. You're like, what the hell just happened to me? What happened in that moment, people don't see, is that somewhere in a Google server, is it wakes up this avatar model voodoo doll version of you. Mm -hmm. And based on all your clicks and likes, that's, those are like your hair filings and nail clippings. It makes this model behave more and more like you. And then what they do is they prick that little avatar model with 100 million videos and they say, well, which one, if I were to test this video, this video, this video, this video, would keep you there the longest? And so it's like playing chess against your mind. And it's going to win because, I mean, if you think about why does Gary Kasparov beat you and I at chess? Well, for, to the extent that we play chess, he sees more moves ahead. You're playing out simulated versions of, well, if I did this, he would do this. But he's just playing out more simulations. Mm -hmm. So he wins. But when Gary loses against the best supercomputer in 2004, Gary doesn't just lose chess in that match. It's like he was the best human chess player we had. So from that moment onward, all of humanity is now worse at chess than computers. They've overtaken right. humans at chess. So now here we are, two billion human social animals with the best hardware we've got. It's like bringing a, a knife to a space laser fight. We're bringing our tiny little prefrontal cortex, which is amazing, but also very limited. We mm -hmm. have paleolithic emotions. And we're bringing that to bear when we're about to hit play on a YouTube video. Anyone with a supercomputer, Google, YouTube, Facebook, can simulate the perfect things to show us. Now, this is actually a deep point that people, I think, really underestimate because it's sort of a civilizational moment when an intelligent species, us, we produce a technology where that technology can simulate the weaknesses of the creator. The puppet that we've created can actually simulate and know exactly what puppet strings to pull on the creator. So now we're all outraged. And when you realize that this is having a control over our social fabric. It's having a control over children's mental health. It's having control over our politics. It's having control over our elections. And people really haven't realized that technology is holding the pen of history right now. And so we're not in control. <laughs>